coming up today on YOLO Texas. Oh yeah, that is just super light. That does taste like a little mojito. I'll name her YOLO. <laughs> Yolita. Dad, for the cheers. 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 The fact that we get to witness history just to see where it all started is absolutely incredible. Never a dull moment here, and there's always something going on at Traders Well. Just about anything you can imagine, it's out here. If you're not looking for it, you're gonna find it here. I always say you always find what you're not looking for. All right, so this is the sunflower field. Apparently, there's like different levels <laughs> for kids and adults. <laughs> it should be fun. Sunflower field! Don't think about it, still lost, not this way. Nope, still lost, got it. I'm gonna go not this way. So this field is 10 acres wide or big. And all of these little sunflowers, look, a bunch of them are like just starting to like bloom. So these are gonna get huge. Oh, look at the little bees. So families come out here, spend the day, try to get through this maze. This is really cute. Ooh, look at all these sunflowers. Ooh, and they have different colored ones too. Like you see this guy? It's gorgeous, darling. I feel like we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, I think I found. No, I didn't. This is the dead end. Where's the finish line? Okay, I see the entrance. This way. I made it. Brian here, <laughs> he's gonna cut a sunflower for me. So if people wanna pick their own, they just bring their own shears and... Yep, you just bring a knife or, or garden shears and then you stick it in water, it'll still bloom <gasps> and it'll still grow. Wow, thank you, Brian. Pretty. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> I'll name her Yolo. <laughs> Yolita. <laughs> How's Hi, it going? How are you? Jackie, nice Jackie, to meet nice you. Jackie, nice to meet you. Rudy. It's a beautiful day out here. It's a here. beautiful day out here. We got a nice breeze going. Yeah, this is my first time out here. It's huge. You all have a lot going on here. How many vendors? Because I'm looking around. Right and now, there's a lot. We probably have close to a thousand vendors. Jeez. Yeah. So we were just over at the sunflower fields, mm -hmm. and I got to go through the maze of everything. Right. That is a really cool attraction. Yes, it is our second time doing it. Uh huh. And it is a truly unique situation because uh, we were trying to come up with another concept because we also do a corn maze every year. For our marketing director, Brian, lost his son through uh, cancer. And we have uh, hope out yeah, there and the yellow ribbon and everything. So it's very heartfelt too because a lot of people do symbolize the yellow yeah. you know, with hope. So. Yeah. So tell me what else we can kind of expect here at Traders Village today. Well, today we're going to walk around the market. We're going to showcase a lot of our, what a lot of people don't know that we have here is we have a lot of rides for kids. Oh, nice. Yeah, so yeah. we have actually 11 rides attractions and it's only $11.99 for a wristband. You can ride the rides all day as many times as you want. So the kids can go to the rides, the, the, the wives can shop, and the husbands, <laughs> we actually have bars out here that they can just sit Perfect. and watch the game and have a beer. Well, cool. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it and just kind of, I got my tennis shoes on. I'm ready to, you gotta have to walk around. Here, yeah. yeah. We got First, I need sunglasses because it's bright. Well, we did. There's some sunglasses here. Perfect. Sunglasses there. We got sunglasses everywhere. Perfect. So we'll get you taken Thank care you of. so much, Trudy. See, I feel like these aren't doing anything. I was trying to see my reflection in the camera, but I can't. Oh. With the Delgado sign. I like it. 
Look at these wreaths. USA, USA. Howdy. How do I look? Like it? Nice pointy toe. Go dancing in a nice, uh, maybe Floors Country Store in Hello's. Nice. This carousel is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. This is actually a, a Alan Herschel. It's a, actually. The inside of it's actually from 1908. Wow. It's one of the few left that are original uh, carousels. There's actually 132 left and, uh, and between the United States and Canada. Uh -huh. And this is uh, actually one of them. Wow, that is awesome. the food they have. Machetes, bambazo, pork stick, chicken stick. <laughs> okay. Holy Here's a machete that I was telling you about. Holy That's it? That's <laughs> all. That's all. That's huge! Dab for the cheers. Cheers! cheers. <laughs> mm. This will feed a family of like four. Oh yeah, one of these tacos. Are two very hungry. They're only twelve dollars, and you can feed your whole family with just this one. Wow. Okay. Oh, so what's this? So this is what we call a Trader's Hall. We actually got the concept from Green Hall yeah. out in Green, yeah. Texas. Yeah. And uh, the unique thing about this building is that everything you see here is actually authentic. Oh, wow. This is a really cute hall. Here's here's the only location that we have that you can get a draft beer. Yeah. And we do uh, the micheladas are really popular. Mm -hmm. And you can get your swirl frozen margarita. Nice. There you go. Thank you. Coming up, AC enjoys some refreshing wines and cocktails right here on YOLO Texas. hot summer day here in Texas, which means it is the perfect time to be poolside for this wine segment of YOLO Texas. We have Sarah Tracy joining us, sommelier, YOLO Texas friend. Sarah, how are you doing? I am just jealous of you in that pool, Erin. Wow, you look like your coolest cucumber. <laughs> I'm gonna show you kind of how to turn your own pool into party central this summer. And I wanna teach you how to make a couple cocktails with some delicious wine. So love it. first we're gonna do is a strawberry smash and it's gonna be using a fabulous sparkling wine from Chateau St. Michel. First thing I wanna do is just grab your glass and a wedge of fresh lime. So wanna go ahead and just squeeze that into your glass and then a teaspoon of sugar. And then we have our, you know, special ingredient, which is fresh strawberries. And then uh, this to me is the actual really fun part. We're going to muddle this all up together. Uh, you're gonna add your wine. And again, the Chateau Saint Michel Luxe Brut. It comes in a regular brut style. It also comes in rosé. One of them. <laughs> Sorry, Opa. I love it. So, Erin, you have just the classic brut. I have the rosé version. They're both awesome in this cocktail. So, go ahead and just pour that in. You might want to pour a little slow. And then, if you really want to go wild with this. You can also add a couple ounces of gin, and then I'm just gonna add a little sprig of fresh mint, just for show, and cheers. Cheers. Woo, that will cool you down. That's so Ooh. delicious. You know what? 
I was really nervous about combining champagne and gin together, but that is like the perfect pairing and it's so refreshing with all the fruits and the mint just like takes it up a notch. It's next level delicious. It's kind of scary how smooth this one's going down. <laughs> If you're poolside, it's likely that you might be in a place where you're not allowed to have glass. And so, That's right. Of course, we're going to show you a fabulous wine in a can. This is a really great one from 14 Hands Winery. This is their Pinot Grigio. It's really refreshing. It's easy to just fill your cooler with it and throw ice on top. You know, tell your guests, just help themselves. It's really fun. It is so tasty. It's almost a bit like fruity. Yeah, probably like some lemon, green apple, green pear. I love how crisp it is and how fruity it is. It is just like the perfect poolside drink right now. And the fact that it's in a can, very convenient. Absolutely. <laughs> So we're gonna make one more cocktail, and this is one of my absolute favorites for summertime. This is made with a Sauvignon Blanc, which is from H3 Winery. And it's a crisp, refreshing Sauvignon Blanc that has a lot of melon notes, a lot of citrus. We're gonna make a play on a mojito with this wine, and we'll call it a Sauvignon Hito for now. Sauvignon and Hito, I love it. <laughs> we're gonna kind of use the pineapple infused ramen here. So it's gonna be super tropical and summery. So let me show you how to make it. So the first thing you're gonna do is add your H3 Sauvignon Blanc, and you wanna measure out two and a half ounces of, of that wine into the shaker. And it wouldn't be a mojito without a little bit of rum. So I used in here a pineapple infused rum, which is a really fun way to bring those tropical flavors into the cocktail. I'm actually gonna um, add some pineapples while we have it here. Perfect. Yeah, I added some fresh to mine too, which was making it super gorgeous. Uh, next, a little bit of simple syrup. And then to balance out that sweetness, we're gonna use a little bit of fresh lime. And then the P.S. Resistance is just a little handful of mint leaves, like somewhere between five and seven is usually the right amount. And now it's time to shake it up. <laughs> All right, this is the fun part. So much fun. I like to add a splash of seltzer just to give it a little bit of sparkle. That's it. You have your Sauvignon Hito. Love it. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That does taste like a little mojito. I love a good Savion Blanc, so the fact that I can make a little cocktail with it, just, oh my goodness, you've made my day, Sarah. Awesome, and then the last wine I wanted to show off today is an amazing Pinot Noir. This is from Erath. This is a lighter bodied red, so I feel like it's nice in the summertime. And you can even slightly chill this if you like. It's delicious. I love it with um, like pulled pork sandwiches or barbecued ribs, um, even burgers off the grill. That would be really, really nice with this Pinot. Oh yeah, that is just super light, super tasty. This is just perfect for yeah. the sunshine. Super fresh, lots of fresh cherry, juicy raspberry notes there. And just, that's my recommendation for a summertime red. Awesome, well, thank you so much. I'm gonna go back to this Savion Hito. And cheers to you, my friend. Thank you so much. Have a great summer. Cheers, Erin, talk to you soon. From summer wines to summer nights, it's off to Kerrville in the James Avery headquarters next. when he started, it was about connection and creating designs that related to people's lives and the events in their lives and what was important to them, um, their family, their friends, their faith. So this is one of my favorite spots. I'm so glad we got out here. We are in Hunt just down the road from where we're headquartered in Kerrville. But the reason I wanted to bring you here, some people know this, my grandfather started selling our jewelry in the camps 
in Hunt. Really, there's a, a particular girls camp we're right around the corner from, and he took his jewelry out there the year he started and started to show the campers, you know, I have some things I think you may like. They would ask for certain pieces, commemorate the cabins they were in, the tribes, the different activities. So we feel really, really tied to Hunt and the camps, but also just the hill country. This was his inspiration, nature and the beauty that it is. So I love that we're out here. And how long was he selling at these camps? Because technically it sounds like a traveling store. Right, I'm excited. You'll get to kind of see what we call his traveling store. We have it in our visitor center today. We kept that and archived it. So from 54 to the late 70s, there was no store other than his garage um, and then coming out to the camps. And then they became his customers for life. And the summer camps that your grandfather would go to you guys still honor them. We do, we have this fun event that we've done for a few years now. It's called Summer in the Hills. So we have the camp decorated, you'll see it, it's super bright. We have games out, we have music on the weekend. And then just, you know, enjoy the time and get to shop and buy their, their camp charms for that year. And then once he decided to open up his first store, how did that just expand from there? Because James Avery's everywhere. I'm excited for us to be back on campus too because I don't think he ever envisioned it to be what it is today. I listened to a lot of the things that you know he said or he wrote and we, we still focus on those things today. It's a lot about our customer, how can we take care of them, but then also our internal customer, our, our associates. Believe it or not, some employees 40, 50 years, multi-generation, so just taking care of them as well. It's, it's pretty incredible, we feel fortunate. Lindsay, we're in the visitor's center, but what do we have right here? So I love this. This is what we call the first store. <laughs> he, wow. he packed this up, I picture it right in his trunk, popped it open, and this is what the campers saw. They got their, wow. their choice at the charms for their tribes, for the activities that they took that year. I think it's really, really beautiful, this, you know, uh, presentation for the camps that, you know, campers see this, but all of our customers that come through the visitor center, we want to make sure they know how special the camps are to us. So this is here all the time, not just for summer in the hills. Did the you camps. do any of the summer camps? I did. I went to I went to Camp Mystic, so I have a few of these. Really? Um, <laughs> Which ones do you have? Let's see. So I definitely, snorkeling was like my favorite activity at camp. And then the spirit stick, okay, that one's really special. So my granddad originally designed that for me. I won really? spirit stick, and I remember I wrote him a letter, right, which camp still do today, handwritten letter, and told him I was so proud. And then when I came back from camp, he had designed and, and made the original one for me, and then it went into the line. So oh that was goodness. pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah You're so. literally the inspiration behind <laughs> the spirit state. I know, so I have a special connection to that charm. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. And the fact that we get to witness history just to see where it all started is absolutely incredible. Coming up next on YOLO Texas, we continue our time at James Avery. Our charms are able to, to touch a lot of lives. I think that's what's so special. You know, whether it's beautiful things like a baby or a marriage or really, really hard things, James Avery is there. And I don't think many other brands get to experience that. And I love these charms because um, I'm a first time mom. It's soon to be expecting. So I love that there's so many endless possibilities. Right, it's a perfect time to start celebrating your little girl as soon as she's born. And yes. then you can keep adding on for other things that mean. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So speaking of me expecting for the first <laughs> right. time having a girl, can you tell me what kind of charms that you have right here so that we had a great idea for me to put together? Yes, we had so much fun pulling different things. So some fun charms, right, you've got Mama, oh, that one's customer so favorite cute. with a little heart. Anything with the heart. This is E for Ella. We thought that was fun. I love it. And so the avocado. <laughs> okay, this one's fun, one? right? Like if you if you want to have a little sense of humor about your pregnancy, there's a little baby right in the bun. So a little I bump. Match an avocado. <laughs> I love that. I yeah. love it. Really, and that's what's cool, right? Our customers give 
the meaning to our charms, whatever whatever it means to them. I um, love it. But, and then also your birthstone month, right? You can celebrate that she's gonna be born in September oh with the blue sapphire. Okay, so I got a little surprise for you. We couldn't help ourselves. We figured it was time oh for gosh. right your adulthood and first baby. Oh my uh, god, this is so we absolutely hope you love it. beautiful. <laughs> and I love like each charm is just so sentimental and just it's a huge significance Aww, in my good. life. So and you've got right, you've got some room to add on as you continue to make memories oh with your family and celebrate her life that way. And I absolutely love this one because usually like when I was younger we just saw just the silver mm -hmm. charms, but now you guys are adding color. Oh my gosh, customers love color, whether it's gemstones or enamel. And it's really cool, our artisans and our manufacturing plant, they do that by hand. Really? Each little dot. I would love to see Seriously. how this comes to life. Yeah, I'd love to show you. Carmen, I've seen all of the beautiful charms with color, but I have no idea how you guys put the color on these charms. So please explain to me your process. So how we start is we do a mixture of enamel and hardener and put them in these syringes. And I'll show you how it's done. We push this button to dispense the enamel out. And with this charm that you have right here, how long does it take to get through one charm? It doesn't take very long at all. And these just take a little amount of enamel. You want to make sure you're spreading it all the way to the edges. Wow. Make sure you're filling in all those areas. And just like that, and it's done. That's it? Yes, ma'am. And what I love about it is that each charm that's enamel, someone is working on it, hands on, and so much love and patience. Would it be okay if I tried it? Sure. <gasps> okay. So you have to help me because I'm nervous now because mm -hmm. you did such a, a perfect job. You'll do great. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Carmen, I appreciate everything that you guys do because you guys really take the time to go through every single charm. Thank you. And I, I have one. I actually just got mine. Oh, nice. So <laughs> you probably did this one. So thank you.